Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one, then blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I suppose I did. So it's... It's good to see you. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Cavalry's here, gentlemen! About time! Let's go! Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together! It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot. Because I'm not. Stow it, Lieutenant. You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. <laughs> 
Shepard. Sustained heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to... Lights outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. Only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Holy shit! They're executing them! I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. Please, trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Shepard, thank the Goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard? Yeah. 
It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here on Mars? In the Prothean Archives, yes. We've known about the Archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. I contacted him as an information broker, and we pooled our resources looking for a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the Archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... I think your work here is a bit more important. True enough. In any case, my work paid off. The Archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Sounds like this weapon might be our best chance to blow the Reapers to hell. It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The Archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers are... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the Pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Ivacore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Set up a perimeter. No one else comes across. We still have teams on the other side. No one. And shut down those cameras. Looks like they've made it to the Archives. And I doubt they'll just send us a tram. Can you override it? The Archives are on a separate network. We're completely locked out. Not if we can find a short-range communicator, helmet to helmet. And? And we convince them that we're on their side, tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of. Good idea. See what you can find. What? The Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. But they've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? How can you compare me to him? Shepard, I don't know what you are, or who, not since Cerberus rebuilt you. For all I know, you could be their puppet, controlled by the elusive man himself. That's not fair, kid. Don't try to explain it. I don't think I'd understand anyway. I just want to know, is the person that I followed to Helen back still in there? Somewhere? They didn't change me, Caden. But words won't convince you, will they? Probably not. I didn't think so. You were always stubborn. <laughs> Me? Come on, let's see what Cerberus is up to. Maybe we'll both get some answers. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? Where the hell have you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. 
Think they bought it? If they didn't, they'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Damn it. How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey, step away from the console. Now. She's got the data. She's faster than she looks. Stay close. We can't lose her. She's getting away. Damn it. James. Normandy. Anybody. I got this one. Dispose of him. No! Grab that thing. Bring it with us. Shepard, we got Reaper signatures in orbit. Caden. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Tiara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Olenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, 
They'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Olenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. There you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head drama was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Caden. Fight. And that's an order. Profits from sales go to help new medical research. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, no more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Odina? Hey. Shepard. I didn't know if you'd come. Because of what I said on Mars? Yeah, look. Never mind. I'm glad you're here. What did Adina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? 
That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell them. I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me then. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, at each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you back on the Normandy. Thanks. Feel like we've cleared the air? Yeah, you know, I'm... I'm not sure that I've been wrong about Cerberus, but I've been wrong about you. I should let you get back to the Normandy. Wish I could come with you. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. Something else, Shepard? Give me the update, Major. <laughs> Major, yeah. Congrats. There's obviously been a lot going on. Anderson asked me to take over a spec ops program. First Special Operations Biotics Division. We're recruiting the most talented human biotics from around the galaxy. What's the focus? Covert high-risk missions. Turn it down at first. I mean, teaching? <laughs> I prefer to get my hands dirty. Anderson can be pretty persuasive. Yeah. Bit of a hard ass, but you can't argue with his kind of experience. Wouldn't take no, said it had to be me. With your history, you're the perfect choice. True. Human biotics are... We're different. Freaks, even. Most people in the galaxy still see us that way. But accepting it, embracing it, can be the difference between success and sitting at home in your PJs, taking red sand. But I don't have to tell you that. You've been injured. Sure you want right back in the thick of it? Are you kidding? <sighs> I want to kick the Reapers straight to hell. Cerberus, too. People near death say their lives flash before their eyes. <sighs> well, the future flashed for me. The anguish, the, the families, the children. It made me determined to live. I need to do something, Shepard. To save at least a few lives. You said your implant got rattled. Everything good? Uh, the medical gibberish was a bit more impressive, but that's what I took away. Rattled. Found a great doc at HQ that's fascinated by the L2 implant. Kind of her pet project. The headaches are as bad as ever, but she's, she's got me on a regimen of acupuncture and meds and some nasty tasting concoction. Won't tell me what it is. But my biotics are stronger than ever. Maybe some things get better with age. Or maybe you have. <laughs> Are you flirting with me, Commander? Wait, wait. Don't tell me. Let me live in the illusion. Where's your family? Are they safe? My family? My parents live in Vancouver. But Dad's family owns an orchard in the BC interior. They were headed out there on a shuttle the day of the attack. Heard from them? No, not yet. But I hope. Uh, I'm hoping Dad's alliance training has kept them safe. Must be killing them not knowing where I am. Are we going to be able to get past what happened on Horizon? I'd like to, Shepard. I'd like to move past the harsh words and be friends. At least. So how do we fix it? I'll admit, I own a lot of that. 
You were standing right in front of me, and I was... I shut you down. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so let's just put it behind us and get on with what's important right now. Bury it? Bury it. Forgive it. I... I think that's how we get past Horizon. I should probably get going. Thanks for coming by. Take care, Caden. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be delayed for a few years. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. What are you doing here? Visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting me. The human biotic and in intensive care. <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. We have spoken. He seems an honorable sort. Your enemies may try to finish him off here. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thane. I am near the end of my life. It is a good time to be generous. Hey, Shepard. If you came to spring me, you're late. I'm getting out soon. Good to hear. Maybe you already saw the vid, but I accepted Udina's offer. Inspector Caden Olenko. That's a big deal. Only the second human specter. <laughs> it's humbling. Udina thinks they may have a pretty big ceremony, even with the war. And he says a celebration will give folks something hopeful to latch onto. You ready to take on that responsibility? You set the bar pretty high, but I'll do my best. It's strange. On Mars, I should have died. The promotion from Anderson, Spectre status. These are terrible days. But I've been lucky. You're perfect for the job. On Eden Prime, I could see there was something special about you. You're a good soldier. That means a lot. I'm happy. I want to serve. I thought you might want to join the Normandy. Yeah. I have thought about that. I just need to get out of here first, though. Take care of some things. I've been trying to locate my old spec op squads. My students from Biotics Division. Any luck? No. Probably went underground, but they'll turn up. If they were easy to find, they wouldn't be doing their jobs. Well, let me know when you're out. Take care, Spectre Olenko. Stay safe, Commander. Alliance Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Alliance Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakara Ward. Are we clear to descend? going on down there. Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. Hey, yeah, this is Joker. Uh-huh. Yeah, no kidding. Commander, there's a communication from Thane. He says it's important. I think you'll want to hear this. Put him through. Shepard, the Citadel is under attack. Cerberus troops are everywhere and they're in control of the docks. Are you safe? No. I had to evade their commandos at the hospital. I'm in a Presidium storefront. Did Caden make it out? We got separated. He said he had to protect the Council. I'm going to CSEC headquarters. Why CSEC headquarters? It's been compromised, and CSEC's response depends on it. As long as Cerberus is holding the headquarters, they have the station. All right. Joker, get us away from the docks and close to CSEC HQ. We'll deploy in the shuttle. Aye, aye, Commander. I see them. Jump! That was a person. Come! Get down! Go! Service 
took out the shuttle. Everyone back to the elevator. Move! Shepard, what's going on? Shepard's blocking our escape. He's with Cerberus. Just hang on. I got this. Everyone calm down. You're not the one I want, Caden. It's the man behind you. What are you talking about? Put the gun away. Would I do this if I weren't dead certain, Caden? Would I? Bodina's behind this attack. The Solarian Counselor confirmed it. Please, you have no proof. You'll never do. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. I better not regret this. You won't. Udina, step away from the console. To hell with this! He's got a gun! Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. And I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch of the Krogan that I never could. Too bad it took this to get you on board. We will not make that same mistake again. Shepard, do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. But I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. How it all went down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stopped the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself, knowing that you acted with integrity, and it matters. You're talking about Adina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same, including you. <sighs> okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but... I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight too. Oh, 
all seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I don't want to be fighting alongside them, but... I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, um... He's M.I.A. <sighs> He's presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In... All this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing. The whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well, wherever they are. I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the clothes on my back and a few things I've picked up in the Citadel. Kinda like it. Living lean. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And Caden's back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer. Nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. We lost a lot of good people when Saren and the Geth hit this place. Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. Seems like more than just three years ago. A lot of memories here. Jenkins and that damn Geth recon drone. And Nihilus. Guess we've got a lot of people to remember down here. Even if we're not fighting Geth this time. Not a lot of other people have had my back from the beginning. Thanks for coming. I wasn't gonna miss this one. Cerberus hit Eden Prime hard. Whatever they found here was worth a major offensive. There are survivors elsewhere on the colony, but... They killed everyone near the dig site. They deserve better. I know. The Alliance did what it could to evacuate colonists, but... Cerberus came in so quickly. If we find survivors, we'll do what we can. What about this artifact? Any idea whether it's part of the Crucible? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. Since the original dig site here contained a warning about the Reapers, it could be connected to the Crucible. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. 
With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. It's deserted. Come on, let's see if we can find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. Colonists came back after Saren and the Geth attacked. They'll come back again. They rebuilt Minduar. It wasn't the same. I didn't say it'd be easy, Commander. But they'll be back. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. You ever uncover a dinosaur, Liara? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Nah. There's the elevator, down to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean like those bodies we found back on Ilos? Yes, but this Prothean is still alive. You're right, that doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. What can you tell me about the Protheans? The people, not the technology. Given your experience with the Prothean Cypher, you probably know as much about them as I do. The Prothean Empire spanned the known galaxy. They uplifted countless other species to help them join the galactic community. Uplifted? Like when the Solarians brought the Krogan out of the Stone Age. Yes. Judging by the dig sites like the Prothean Archive on Mars or here on Eden Prime, the Protheans wanted other species to learn. It's clear that they prized knowledge, growth, and cooperation with the rest of the galaxy. They had an empire that spanned the entire galaxy. It's unlikely they did that just by playing nice. Of course. They must have had an impressive military as well. Whatever the Protheans were, finding one alive represents an incredible opportunity. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah. <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No. Breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. I'd rather be fighting through a Cerberus base. This was somebody's home. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. I hope my enthusiasm doesn't seem unprofessional. <sighs> I can't stop grinning.
Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just... You plan a career, you focus, and then... Suddenly the world's ending, and it's too late to, uh... To find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? I, mean, I guess I'm just choosy or patient or... <sighs> I don't know. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is something deeper with someone that I already... care about. <sighs> That's what I want. What do you want? You and me? Is that what you're saying, Caden? It feels right, doesn't it? Be nice to have someone to turn to when things get grim. Someone to live for. Maybe love. <laughs> someone? You, Caden. <laughs> it does. It does feel right. After all this time. <laughs> you and me. I like that. A lot. And that... makes me so happy. And there are benefits to that happiness. Really? Yes. Really. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Hmm. Sanity check. Shepard, you made it! Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy? You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow, we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. I'm hurt. Why aren't you looking over here? Who said I'm not? But I know there's something between you and Caden. Here. To you, Steve. And to you, Shepard. A good friend when I needed one most. Thank you. For everything. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Well, you can handle yourself in a fight now, Liara. I mean, not that your biotics weren't impressive the first time we met. I have had my fair share of opportunities to use them these past few years. Well, I'm glad you got through in one piece. Sounds like you have a few stories to tell. The crash site's a nightmare. Edie, any more details on what happened? Information is limited. Your assistance was requested by Primarch Victus to rescue the Turian platoon that has crashed here. The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? The Primarch's son. Try to raise him. The Primarch sends his son on a classified mission? That's interesting. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. What intel do we 
out on this secret Turian mission. Whatever the hell it is, I bet it's good. Hear that? Eyes up. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Poor bastards have no idea. Exactly. Let's go. Damn. Losing men is hard enough. But when everybody expects you to be like your big time old man, that's gotta be rough. I think it's commendable to follow in a parent's footsteps. Barnick, how's our velocity? Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial or hanging? How's the commander live this down? When we find it, we'll last. Here come the hosts! Commander, any further intel on that Cerberus bomb? We're all in the dark here. My gut tells me there's more to this thing. Your gut? I mean, Turians on Tachanka? It's odd. Pretty damn odd. The bomb's in the Kelfic Valley, eh? How populated is that region? Since Cerberus has this bomb, it might be dangerous to ignore. Normandy shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Insurance against further Krogan aggression. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. That's the thing. You can have all the tech, knowledge, experience, but if the failure is mechanical, you're stuck. Poor kid. Commander just walked in. Pretty brave. Hey, Shepard? Victus? Yeah, that was something. He will be remembered, written up as a hero. Turians don't forget something like that. I hope his dad is proud. We're lucky the Krogan didn't find out about the bomb earlier. Probably would have walked out on the summit. Damn brave, what the lieutenant did. Didn't really have a choice. Still, brave. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Nothing in the mission brief. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? You've got to be kidding. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... No second guessing. Let's just get these people the hell out of here. And not one more lost. We only get one shot at this, so people better pay attention and fall in line. Absolutely. 
What would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. Garrus, you do the repairs. Will do. Ready, Caden? Just you and me. Bring it on! Hey. There you are. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> if you have to ask, I'm clearly out of practice. Well, when we've got time, you'll have to let me practice. You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... <sighs> So, yeah, you know... I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough. But it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them? From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity. And he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. <clears throat> Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <sighs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? A sorry high command hid a lot from us. You're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? No. These Ardat Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't, or couldn't, harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics, and potentially very dangerous. That's why high command sent commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? Great. What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Arda Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. If Asari High Command believes this is a threat worth purging, then that's our goal. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. Good. The sooner you finish, the sooner Asari High Command stops wasting lives here. No elevator.
would seem the Asari commandos felt silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nap point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. I heard something. I, um, tripped. Sorry. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara! It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. You know each other? It's wild. So, why are you here? I know the monastery well. My daughters live here, and I came to find them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Valer and Rila have followed the Monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the commandos brought here. The Jastakar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. That all there's broken. We'll have to take the long route. Unless you picked up the knack of using biotics to float. We're both out of luck on that one. It doesn't feel right seeing dead soldiers in a monastery. Where would you prefer to see them? Defending their homes. Alive. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. That was a rough mission. The Reapers are an ingenious and ruthless enemy. Poor Rila. Ingenious and ruthless. The worst kind. Huh. Never met a real Ardot Yakshi. Not that I know of, anyway. I think I dodged a bullet there. Seriously, I think I would have been a goner. Shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to see you again, Tally. You too, Caden. How's the Omni tool? Still using the logic arrest? It's still the best model. Not for running multiple attack processes simultaneously. You need a Nexus. Nexus shield enhancements are years behind the curve. That's why you overclock the microframe. Shepard, there's a problem. All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. 
Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. Got it. You're clear to board. You okay, Commander? Better now. Here, let me see if I can get this open. Sensor data. Can you tell what's going on outside? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. After we stopped them at the Citadel, never thought we'd have to worry about the Geth again. The ones that served Sterin were heretics. They left the Geth to worship the Reapers. Right, I saw the file. That should buy us some time. We're safe as long as the maintenance lock is in place. Let's move. Commander, it's coming back online. Come on, let's get out of here. That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Shepard Commander, help us. Legion, do you know this thing? Yes. It helped me fight the Collectors. It's on our side. But weren't all the Geth reprogrammed? Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper's signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Be appreciated. Searching for any mention of your recruits is not a complicated protocol, Major. Trying to find out what happened to your people? Yeah. Edie, make this scope galaxy wide. And if I can find just one squad, they may lead me to the others. Good luck, Caden. Thanks, Shepard. I'll let you know what happens. I will establish the routine now. Edie out. By the way, Shepard, it's been good having Tally around. She's a good egg. But wait. Don't tell her I said that, in case it's some kind of Corian insult. But the Geth? I certainly could have lived happily without coming face to face with another one of those. Got a few things on my plate.
Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That kind of tech isn't even on the market. This can't be safe. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI-human hybrid on the galaxy. This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. to consensus remain still. Shepard Commander, access movement during an upload is discouraged. Shepard, what just happened? Actually, don't tell me. I've got work to do and I, I can't be distracted. I was plugged into the virtual world of the Geth Consensus. Saw their history, purged a Reaper infection. Crap. Now I'll be obsessing about how that works, instead of doing my Spectre Division expense report. You're welcome. You know, entering the Geth Consensus is gonna be the best chapter in your autobiography. A ship full of civilians. They never had a chance. We need to radio Zalcoris if we're gonna find him. Let's get to that jamming tower. Great. Get in mind the area. There's the AA gun. One of us is gonna have to shut it down. Take care of it, Caden. Right. Who do you want on this gun, Shepard? I want you on this, Caden. Right, Commander. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people I was looking for. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad. Black Ops. They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, in Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the Resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. Hey there. Hey, kid. Just checking in. I'm glad. Say, you, uh, you left without waking me. Didn't have the heart. <laughs> well, thanks, but next time, uh, wake me.
got the flush. Mmm. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. That was quite the negotiation you've pulled off. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side? That's a very good thing. Totally took down a Reaper. Yeah, sure did. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. We've all read Edie's notes on Bryson's lab. Any questions? Do we know anything more about the Leviathan? Not really. We only know it killed a Reaper. But it is this Garneau human. Bryson's partner we must locate. Right. If we find Garneau, we find Leviathan. Understood. Powerful enough to take down a Reaper, but hiding from the war. There's more to this. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading Reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Brayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan too, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. Scouting party. A really nasty one by the sound of it. Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be. Hello? Yes. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? <sighs> Look. We don't have time to waste. I'm looking for a researcher, Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. We have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The access elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Well, this doesn't seem right. Come on. Let's look around. Careful. Security log says Garneau took this elevator within the last week. Why lie about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Seems 
focused on mining. Punch in Garneau's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. A ship dropped him off a week ago. Looks like he had full access at one point before going into hiding. Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. This guy no human was headed to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You are in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I've got the file number. Let's go get Garneau. Is that Garneau? Sure as hell hope not. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Whatever's going on here, I need you to focus. Of course, Commander. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a Reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. Doctor, you mentioned an artifact in a vid call we found. I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got Reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. He is not himself. This is not Garneau we are talking to. You. You killed a Reaper. I need your help. You bring only death. Supply has been cut. I'm seeing the trouble spots out there. We could send this repair drone. We'll need to escort it. But the drone is damaged. Its power reserves are limited. Let's make it quick then. The darkness can be breached. That artifact. It, it's like in Bryson's office. Move! I've got a shot! Commander, come quickly. What have you got? That human was not the one called Garneau. This is 
and he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Huh. Anything else useful? Encrypted data. There is also a personal log with eight missed calls from someone named Dr. Anne Bryson. Anne Bryson? Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you all right? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... All right. Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh... Remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling... That's exactly what I felt. That artifact... You know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. That's a lot of time to lose. These people are in for a shock. Do you think it might be a Reaper? If it's a Reaper, we need to know its motivations. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Gardo's notes? Yes. They suggest that Gardo created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. They're powerful and dangerous. That's for sure. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. Have you ever seen anything like that, Shepard? It feels good to help those people get their lives back. Ten years is a lot of lost time. Let's make sure we never let time just slip by us. Okay? Okay, so we have reports that this dig site was under attack, right? Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. An attack means we're on the right trail. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional problems. Who knows what we'll find? Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostile! Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform! That's her. Okay, let's get... This! Tracking multiple boats! Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform, hang on. There, go! Jump! Over 
controls are broken. Someone try to fix it. I'm on it. Wires look fried, but I think I got it. Just give me a sec. Elevator's online. We're coming up. Please hurry. I think Hopkins is dead. He tried to run. I told him not to, but he wanted to help the others. Where did everyone go? They're not coming. We have to keep moving. Yes, of course. I uh, was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Shepard, look! I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people, their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! What are they doing? They've activated I've never managed anything. Doctor? They've learned too well. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Got it! You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle, you run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. So a Reaper goes rogue and kills one of its own. And that's what we're looking at here, right? Bryson really was onto something big. Amazing. A lot of smart people in this galaxy. I'm a lucky guy to work with so many of them. Cortez, what's the status on the probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. Makes you wonder, what exactly is down there? A Reaper killer. That's what Bryson's task force was calling it. Doesn't look like it wants to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. Absolutely. But then what? And say it is a Reaper. Do we really want its help? Nobody says we have to be friends with it. But if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures floating on the surface, but the probe's giving us a signal below that. Way below. Underwater? Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. That's possible? Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres. Though I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Dennis, some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Shuttle, Cortez. Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. 
Copy that. We'll look around. Just like the Shepherd. We're not the first to be stranded here. That pulse was deliberate. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Amazing. I don't recognize those ships. How long have they been here? Looks like a damaged atlas. Different, though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. Or lines once. Regardless, it looks out of commission. Status. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Can the Normandy extract us? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. And we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. Diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed for deep sea exploration. As long as the seawater hasn't corroded, it should be good to go. I'm game. We chased Leviathan this far. Let's finish this. It's a long ways down. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hear you. Time's wasted. Wait a minute. Are we seriously considering... First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I guess we are. These old Ballard-class ships are equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. You can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I gotta say, I'm not too crazy about this plan. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. A Shepard. I'll be fine. Closing hatch. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing comm link. I read you. Here goes. Commencing dive in three, two, one. Shoot holding up, Commander. Looks good so far. Copy that. Cortez? Cortez!
Damn it, we got a Reaper inbound! Shepard, can you hear me? He's freezing! You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Never do that again. So what happened down there? We found it. It's real. And a lot more than we ever imagined. So was it worth almost dying for? I don't know. But we proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war, just like us. And it's gonna help fight. That's amazing. Yeah. One for the history books. Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. You scared the hell out of me with those risky stunts, Shepard. But I, mean, I guess it's also part of what I love about you. You know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. Liara, do you have anything more on this artifact? These coordinates the Counselor gave you are for the Temple of Athame. My mother took me there once. It's several thousand years old. And for some reason, it has classified government funding. Sounds like we're on the right trail. What if we're too late? My people are dying down there. Venezia took you to this temple? I was just a child. I thought it was a history lesson, but now... Maybe there was more to it. What do you mean? I went digging through her old files. She had heavily encrypted records on this place, some dating back centuries. I still can't crack most of them. Whatever's going on, it's well hidden. I remember her mother. She fought indoctrination when it mattered most. And this brings all those memories back. What if Thessia faces the same fate? I know it's difficult, Liara, but you can't think about it. You could spend all day counting casualties. Focus on getting what we need to finish the Crucible. I'm sorry. I can't be that callous about my own people. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And I think about Earth long enough, and I go crazy. Hey, buckle up! This one's gonna be tight! Like we're in the clear. Let's get inside. Love to, but the uh, front door looks locked. Let me take a look. It's military grade encryption. I think I can override it. Military grade? For a temple? Especially since few still follow the Athame doctrine. is what we're looking for. I'm guessing these are the scientists. What happened to their throats? They've been slit. The Reapers didn't do this. We're going to have to figure this out on our own. Who's that supposed to be? The goddess Athame herself. It's a relic of the old faith. I'm impressed, but why all this effort for a dead religion? I admit, this does seem rather elaborate, even by our standards. 
Though Athame does have great historical significance, we once believed our gods were separate from the world, looking down on us. There is a universal energy. There's a Prothean beacon here. What? You're sure? It's not something you forget. But why hide it? I wish we'd hidden a beacon back on Mars a little better. No telling what's in this one. That can't be. I can't believe my people would keep this a secret. A beacon like this could explain why Asari are so advanced. You did say this temple was thousands of years old, Liara. Plenty of opportunity to crack its secrets. That doesn't make it true. But it would explain a lot. A couple breakthroughs every other century, and the Asari stay on top. Maybe this is why. Well, if it is true, the Asari should have shared this knowledge. We might not have been in this mess if they had. You don't know that, Shepard. We don't know what's going on here. I know we don't have much time to find out. The few records I can access talk about tapping into Prothean data streams, reconstructing matrices, none of which I see here. Maybe that's the point. By the goddess. Literally. Look around. There must be more of these connections. Incredible. The beacon seems to think you're Prothean, Shepard. It must be the cipher you got back on Pharaoh's. No connection here. So once we figure this out, we can finish the Crucible, and the war's over. No pressure. I'd say that one counts. Doesn't look like a connection. I don't think that's it. Let's move on. There! Another one! I don't think we're done yet. This isn't a connection. Keep looking. You know, Liara, it looks like this beacon is the true birthplace of your people. Our whole civilization. That's what I thought. That did it. I think we can access the beacon now. We need to hurry. This place isn't going to... ...last very long. Obtaining chronological marker. Hold. Time scale established. Post-Prothean cycle confirmed. What are you? Reaper presence detected. This galactic cycle has already reached its extinction terminus. Systems shutting down. Hold on a minute. We need answers. To what question? The catalyst. We need to know what it is to finish the crucible. A Prothean? I think this one's dead. Remember when we met Vigil? I am called Vendetta, an advanced virtual construct of Patrick Van, overseer of the project you refer to as Crucible. He died fighting the Reapers in the Battle of Tranvia 9. Your remaining time is also at an end. Were all Protheans so grim? What happened to the Crucible in your time? Why didn't the Protheans deploy it? We were sabotaged from within. A splinter group argued we should dominate the Reapers rather than destroy them. It fractured our order of battle. Later, we discovered the Separatists were indoctrinated. Deja vu, anyone? Our studies of past ages led us to believe that time is cyclical. Many patterns repeat. Like the Reaper attacks. And beyond, the same peaks of evolution, the same valleys of dissolution. The same conflicts are expressed in every cycle, but in a different manner. The repetition is too prevalent to be merely chance. We assume the Reapers were responsible for the pattern. Perhaps, though I believe the Reapers are only servants of the pattern. They are not its master. So who is the master? Unknown. Its presence is inferred rather than observed. The only certainty is its intention. Galactic annihilation. You now stand at that precipice. We haven't been annihilated yet. We're fighting the Reapers right now. As does every cycle. But resistance is not enough. Conventional means will not defeat the Reapers. We already know that. That's why we're building the Crucible. We found your plans. The Crucible is not a Prothean design. It is the work of countless galactic cycles stretching back millions of years. Each cycle adds to it. Each improves upon it. Thus far, none have successfully defeated the Reapers with it. 
I know a thing or two about killing Reavers. Just tell us what the catalyst is. Confidence alone will not defeat the Reapers. Though I deem your odds of success remote, I will not hinder you. Then give us what we need to know. Very well. If you have followed the plans for the Crucible, I will interface with your systems and assist with the catalyst to... Indoctrinated presence detected. Activating security protocol. This is Shepard. Give us your location. I repeat, is anyone on this frequency? We read you. Give me your location. The lieutenant's down. The whole zone is collapsing. What happened to Shepard? Did they make it to the temple? I saw them. I... I've got a reaper in that! Please, is anybody there? Wait, oh, goddess. No! Sick of Cerberus beating us to the punch. Let's kick them in the balls first for a change. I'm with James. Anyone know where they're hiding? Anyone? Um. Well, there is something. Let's hear it, trainer. I was able to track Kai Leng's shuttle through the relay and extrapolate his destination. But. The signal disappeared in the Yera system. Naturally. It's not just gone, though. The signal is being actively blocked. How? I'm not sure, but something is interfering with all signal activity in that region of space. Commander, the Yera system is home to Sanctuary and little else. Sanctuary is a supposed safe haven for war refugees. You think it's worth checking out, trainer? Yes, sir. I do. If Specialist Trainer hadn't examined the data so astutely, the interference would have been undetectable. Nice work, Trainer. You've given us a shot. Now let's make sure we don't waste it. I was stationed on Horizon in the Lyra system, and you were the only Cerberus presence while I was there. It's a slim lead. Let's hope it's the right one. I don't care how slim the leads are at this point. We've come too far to let Cerberus stop us. I want that Prothean data. I want the catalyst. No excuses. Dismissed. Hey, Commander. We were just talking to Leara. She's a strong one. I'd say her world's just been completely rocked. Completely? Adams and I were just remembering Novaria and the terrible way her mother died. Leara seemed so together afterward. Couldn't have been easy. For weeks, she told me stories about her mother. Yeah. Me too. I have a feeling she'll be okay. Yeah. Hope so. And don't worry about Kai Lang. Now that we've seen his dirty moves, next time, he's getting his ass kicked. Count on it. Brooks! Feeling good. Shepard, can you hear me? You okay? I'm fine. Might need a little backup. It's good to hear your voice. Joker told me what happened. I'm on foot, but not far. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. I'm um, what? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned staff analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice.
It's all under control. They set some kind of alarm. What's going on? Thought I'd make things more interesting. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns that don't like me. Very helpful. Thanks. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Seems like you're having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. <laughs> Landing pad's over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Ah, control panel. Right. So what happened? You fell through the fish tank? We'll talk about it later. Such a shame. It's one of my favorites. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Uh, just a minute. Can you open the gate? Thanks. Please leave. I could have done Rex? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, just butting heads with the Council over Krogan expansion. Shepard, we got a way out of here. Rex, I'm a professional. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Someone want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, who are those guys? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. Brooks, gunfire means something serious is going on. Can you keep it together long enough for us to figure this out? They said the Medigel might make me jumpy. Also, the fact that I work a desk job and have never been shot before. How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's Pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway, Mr. Bis- uh, My program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. 
Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Guess we're back on the clock. Hey, when this is done, we'll carve out some time. Just the two of us. Okay. Ideas on where to start with these guys? Maybe. Let's look at that pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Let me see it. I might be able to help. Cliff. I'll begin collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Liara? Shepard, I'm relieved to see you're in one piece. A shame about the sushi place, though. It was a favorite. I hear that. Nice to see you in action on the car lot. It was... pretty hot. Oh, I thank you. What would I do without you? <laughs> You'll never find out. Looking good, Commander. How is it I haven't seen you dressed up like this before? I've gotta have some secrets. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a Reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax, Brooks. Right. Okay. On it. Okay, Caden. Time to meet the Riff Raff. I lost a lot of money. Who can I talk to about getting it back? Uh, I'm sorry. You <clears throat> can't get it back. No. No, please, sir. Please don't cry. You have a good night now. Con? You and me are gonna have a talk. What the hell? And here I had this good cop routine all planned. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it. Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh, so we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. Name a time and a place. Or you could hide behind voice disguisers for the rest of your life. You're trying to rattle me, so I slip up. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Bring a bigger hammer. Your last try was inadequate. I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Hell of a party. Though, not so fun for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in with the Vorcha Mafia? 5,000 credits and a bottle of whiskey? Actually, never mind. Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you? They bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? That's enough! Drop your weapon, so this won't end well for her. You bastard! All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. 
Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Is this cycle always so strange? Who are you? You weren't the only Shepard that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. I don't care who you claim to be. You're not me. I'm exactly you. I was made for spare parts in case you needed another lung or a heart. A clone? Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. So what's your point in trying to kill us? Because I don't have his memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Major Olenko. I would have picked the other one on Vermeer. Ashley something? You're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one would ever believe you're the commander. They will when I'm flying his ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown. Transmitted command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer, this is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm setting the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm looking forward to killing myself. I guess ominous threats of violence run in our DNA. But mine is more than a threat. Execute them. The Cult of Shepard ends today. find what primitives lack in aim may make up for in ammunition. The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround him. Let's move. This can't be good. Brooks, the vault sealed us in. Is there an override? Not seeing one. Cortez? Brooks? Do you read me? Is anyone on this frequency? The short answer is no. They're not. The longer answer involves your friends trapped in Iridium vaults and forgotten for... well... forever. Others know about this. About you. The Alliance will stop you. What do you think, Staff Analyst Brooks? Will the Alliance stop us? I wouldn't know. I don't actually work for them. How typical of primitives. The minute, the second I get out of here, I'm gonna take your head and mount it in the Normandy CIC. Then I'm gonna mount his head next to yours. Then I'm gonna take both of your heads and space them out the airlock. Finally. That sounds very dramatic. And if someone like, say, Commander Shepard made the threat, I'd be worried. But you're not Shepard. Not anymore. You had Miranda. I have her. Mine has more bite. It was fun while it lasted. 
What are you doing? Setting things right. Remember this? You were the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Except somewhere along the way, you forgot about your entire species. You've saved more alien lives than you have human. And all I've seen you do is end lives. You're gonna make a lousy me. <laughs> you know the one thing they can't duplicate? Our handprint. Life gives it its shape, not DNA. Which is a problem. Computer, update council records. Subject, Shepard. Human Spectre. Accessing record. Please input new data. Biometric identifier updated. Good day, Commander Shepard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Normandy needs its captain. So, I should go. Farewell, Commander. I guess this is where legends go to die. <laughs> I am tired of being locked in time capsules. He said, I should go. Do I sound like that? Yes. Yes, you do. And now maybe let's turn our attention to the impregnable vault that we've just been sealed in forever. I'm more confident than he is. More in control. With me, it's more like, that's all for now. Yes. Never show weakness. Even when leaving the room. I'm gonna guess we've got an hour of air in here, tops. Or sometimes, I'll talk to you later. Because you know what? I never do. Leave him wanting more. Shepard, hey, why aren't you more worried about this? Hmm? Oh, Glyph, you still out there? Yes, Commander. Unlock this damn thing and go find the others. No one steals my ship. Not even me. Shepard plus two, and figure it out fast because the other Shepard is stealing my ship. What? Oh, I was hoping to go. As did I. 50,000 years later, and I rarely get picked. Joker will come back for you. I promise. why I hate Shorely. I swear you parked the ship for five minutes. Can you contact Citadel Flight Control and get them to deny the departure request? Tried. All the comm lines in the area are jammed. Probably to make it easier for them to steal my ship. We'll stop them. Even if they get the Normandy, we can go to the Council and prove you're the real Shepard. No. He changed the logs to make his biometrics the official ones. We can't prove anything. Yes, that. Can we all just agree that it'd be easier to not let Shepard's evil clones steal the Normandy? One way or another, we're taking this bastard down. Damn right. You go kill the crap out of you. Okay, Citadel systems are targeting the car. Any closer and they open fire. Get back and pick up the others, ASAP. Right, they can't have gotten far. Unless they called a cab or something. We need to hurry. They're getting ready to take off. When we want to take off, there's a half hour of pre-flight checks. They just gun the engine and go? Well, most of you Spectre authorization to get clearance for immediate departure. Well, I know what I'm doing next time. And I don't even... Wait, what? 
You were just on the Normandy. You, you fired me. Dishonorable discharge for conduct unbecoming. You kicked me off the ship with barely enough time to grab my toothbrush. I can't fire you without a disciplinary hearing, trainer. And really, the first thing you grab is your toothbrush? It's a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses Mass Effect fields to break up plaque. And someone just threw me off the ship. If it wasn't you... Shepard's got a clone. Makes sense when you think about it. I can explain more later. For now... It's sealed. They're getting ready to take off. Is there anyone still aboard who can help us? No. I was only there because I helped with the Normandy retrofits back on Earth. Everyone else is on shore leave. Okay. You know this ship inside and out. Can you get me inside? There's an emergency exit hatch for evacuations. It should be right... here. Manual lock. And it's only meant to be open from the other side. Any ideas? I could trigger it with a biotic field, but I don't think I have the fine control we need. <clears throat> if you told me this morning that a toothbrush was gonna save the Normandy, I'd have been very skeptical. Pretty sure we broke Trainer's toothbrush getting the hatch open. Remind me to reimburse her for that. I'll try to remember that. A little grim. Remember all those years ago on the Citadel? When I asked who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? Remember how you thought it was a pointless question? <laughs> Look at us now. I was really hoping you'd forgotten that. <laughs> Look on the bright side. In a few minutes, you'll have your answer. Me. Hang on! No! We've got you! <sighs> Thanks. What about this pie jam? You. Get off my ship. The rest of the squad's waiting outside. We'll have the Normandy back in shape in no time. Appreciate it. Sure, leave. Always an adventure. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can take some actual time off. No explosions or anything. Just us. Don't know about no explosions, but just us sounds perfect. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. We'll just end up back here anyway. Am I right? Trust me. Let me impress you. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on. 
You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. You like to cook, Shepard? Roommate on Arcturus taught me. He said eating cafeteria crap 24-7 was bad for morale. <laughs> Is there anything you're bad at? Where'd you learn to cook? Class is a jump zero, believe it or not. Young biotics who can't cook for themselves risk starving. Did you pass? You're burning the garlic. Sorry. I guess I'm distracted. Bye. I wonder. So? We have hot sauce, right? This was great. What? Is it over? Well, what do you suggest? I think we need to find a way to burn off these calories, don't you? Shepard, you gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> as long as you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho? Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah, muscles. I like that. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to taking a damn break. <laughs> Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. <sighs> Only a little. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Well, what about those of us who have both? Hey? I mean it. Check me out. Go on. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. I don't cool down, big guy. I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. And what about our poor friends stuck with flawed implants? Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? Huh. That's a bit strange. Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Right, Jack? Hey, Liara? Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait, we're still talking about combat, right? <laughs> James. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. 
dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax and have a good time. Okay, you're the boss. Except when you're not. And, uh, in that case, find me later. Could not. I assure you, Dr. Tassoni is quite capable. Shepard. What's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Pleasure. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. OK. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. here. Mm. Good morning. Uh, is it morning? I had a great time last night. All night. Let's see if anyone else is up. Now that was a great time. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave, too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Commander, what do we know? Edie? The sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper-controlled systems. The facility went offline recently, and no communications have come or gone since. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Sir, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak. I I'll try to boost it. Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Seeing some damage, Commander, but no activity.
Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Major damage, Commander. Yeah, but who was fighting? Everyone hear that? The radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Looks like they were evacuating. And looks like the Reapers were chasing them out. About time they started killing each other. Security cam footage. This is where they sorted out the refugees. Come on, let's keep looking. Some kind of control center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Power switch. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. They're just rounding them up and slaughtering them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. Shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. We should keep them out of the entrance as well. Kai Lang? She doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. Do you want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Damn it. Let's move. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Maybe we'll get some answers as to why the Reapers wanted this place shut down. It doesn't make sense. Thought Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. What changed? Yeah, you got it, Commander. Heading to the tower to disable the communications scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This is disgusting. And the scale of this. She said that shipments were sent to the elusive man. Maybe we can use that to find him. Good catch. Come on. Miranda said she was headed to the tower. Heavy resistance outside the tower. If you're receiving this, I've got evidence you cannot ignore. Confirmation that my father is working for the elusive man. Connection established. I have your report on the process, Mr. Lawson. Cut to the chase. Can you do it? Theoretically, control is possible, yes. The Reaper subjects we converted are responding, but it's difficult to maintain. I thought that might be the case. Not to worry, Henry. With Sanctuary's help, we'll get it sorted. He's talking about controlling Reaper forces? Is that... is that possible? I don't know. I'll play the rest of it. We've done it. We've found a way to co-opt their control signal. As long as the Reaper troops remain in close proximity to our signal, we can maintain control indefinitely. Excellent news. And how could we extrapolate this technique to apply to the Reapers themselves? That's a much bigger challenge. Now we know why the Reapers attacked Sanctuary. They must have discovered what Cerberus was doing. That's bad news for the elusive man. But it's good news for us. We finally have our link to Cerberus. Lowering the access ladder. Come on, let's move. Wait, Commander, there's more. Damn it. But she's ready. Shepard. I'm here. 
Before Kai Leng left, I planted a trace on him. A trace? You thought of everything. <laughs> Not everything. Nobody's perfect. But at least Ori is safe. <sighs> I've never met anyone like you, Miranda. No. You haven't. I'll keep your sister safe. Good. I just wish I could have. Miranda? Miranda? Let's make sure everybody knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility Come run on. by my father, Henry Lawson. Let's get you out of here. Can you feel it, Shepard? Feel the quickening? A lucid man better say his prayers tonight. Because we are coming for him. Murderous asshole. Oh, yeah. Tide is turning. I feel it. After what I saw down there, I have never been more filled with rage. Sanctuary. Elusive man's obviously crazy, but bring him on. Cases like this, I don't mind killing crazy. Sleep either? No. Making yourself crazy with this won't help. Kate, I need to. Shh. Just take five minutes, a quick drink, and then I'll go. Shepard, you know that you've done everything you could, right? I hope so. I keep running the numbers to see if I've missed something. You don't have to take this all on yourself. Look to your crew, to the talented people fighting by your side. What you've accomplished since the Reapers arrived is... It's just nothing short of amazing. It's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be what it is. What are you thinking about right now? Uh, the good times and the, the hard times. <laughs> It's been an unforgettable few years. And you were always so focused on the work back then. The mission was everything. It's true. I'll never know what I missed. So tell me, how is this kind of distraction supposed to win us the war? I'm not a distraction. I'm here to help you relax. Relaxing will help you focus. I, I didn't come here for a quick drink.
What's up? Are we gonna make it, Caden? <sighs> We're ready. You've put the people together, the vision, and what you've done, Shepard, is build hope. Well, I'm glad I inspired that in you. But sometimes... You're right. Give us hope and a fighting chance? Hell, the Reapers better watch themselves. Launching fighter. Nice work! The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I thought you were just on life support. Clinically brain dead. Looks like. What was it like? I mean, if you remember. Or... How do you feel? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know, I... You're real enough for me. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. You knew you well. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do? Sit and wait? You were trying to protect humanity. You didn't have a choice. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. He used those people as a shield. You never saw what Cerberus really was. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. What is this thing? This is the human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. I wish I could have helped. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Fighting through this thing makes my skin crawl. It's like we're bugs crawling across a sleeping giant. It tried to kill me last time. It can watch all at once. Hey, Shepard. That was rough. So relieved to see you in one piece. Ready to head home? Home. Back to Earth. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm ready. About time. About freaking time. And if the Reapers mess with anything I left behind, I'm gonna be so pissed. See you topside, Shepard. Advance teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell? Take a look for yourself. That can't be Earth. Shit! We got a lock! Hold on! Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Sir? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. Great. How? That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crash shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. I'm right with you. Got it! Come on! We'll cover you! Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Anderson. I knew you would. It's good to see you. And you a sight for some eyes. How we look? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, now we can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding the forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's gonna be up to Hammer to take a look at it. It must have been brutal here, cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could, sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They'll do whatever it takes to win this. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? The entire galaxy united. Too bad for the Reapers to bring us together. The Shepherds that would have united them. That's exactly what I mean. I know you didn't like me, but nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I thought there'd be more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. Hey, Caden. Hey. There you are. You ready? Absolutely. For anything. Bring it on. And Biotics Division? Your students? <laughs> more than ready. Eager. That's youth for you. Guess we're old soldiers, eh, Shepard? Yeah. I guess we are. Brothers in arms, we know the score. We know this is goodbye. When this is over, 
I'm going to be waiting for you. You'd better show up. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to fight like hell for the chance to hold you again. But listen, I... there's things I want to say. And looking back, I have a few regrets, but not many. That's pretty damn amazing, right? Messed up kid that I was, never would have dreamed of the life I've had. And I owe a lot of that to you, you know? It's been quite a ride. It sure has. But how are you doing? I'm scared. Damn straight I'm scared. But that fear's gonna keep me alive long enough to strike these bastards right through the heart. Yeah. Exactly. So... Take care, Major. Stay safe. Well... I should find the rest of my squad. Yeah. You know... I've never been to London. <laughs> Targeting is online. Reaper is within range. It didn't look good. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several Sovereign class Reapers, including Harbinger, have broken off from the battle with Sword. They're headed here. Harbinger? It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the Crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. We still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Then that's our job. Find out what we're up against. All right. Saddle up, everybody. Get me Admiral Hackett. Here on in, it's a straight shot to the deal. A straight shot with Reapers trying to crush us along the way. We just need to get a handful of troops through. Only a handful, huh? We knew this was going to be a gamble at best. Can't think of anyone else I'd rather do this with. Nobody's doing this alone. We're in sight of the target. All right, everyone. This is it.
gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Don't argue with me, Caden. Don't leave me behind. No matter what happens, know that I love you. Always. I love you too.
And while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future.